Hey, what's up? This is Will from Mikey's RC. Well, if you've been joining my weekly group chat every 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, you know what I'm about to show you. And if you haven't been joining my weekly group chat, please do so. We talk about planes, helicopters, you can chat with me, you can call in live, ask questions, all that great stuff. So this jet that I'm about to show you, it was actually inspired by my subscribers and viewers. I asked them, I said, hey, what plane do you want me to build? They gave me a whole list, and this is the one that I chose. It's a twin ducted fan DC-10 jet. Now I did a couple different things on this plane that I normally don't do with my scratch builds. One is I actually put landing gear on it, and that landing gear even has a steerable nose wheel. And the other thing I did was to try and conceal my electronics a little bit to make this a little more streamlined and just look better in general overall. A couple other reasons I chose to make this jet is A, I didn't see a lot of regular kits that were like jumbo jets like this, and B, especially didn't see them that were being scratch built. So I thought it'd be kind of a fun experiment to see how I could do to build a scratch built uh, ducted fan jumbo jet. Now another thing to note is that this model is built with the uh, lighter weight, cheaper Dollar Tree foam board, and so far I'm pretty impressed with how it's working. Of course we'll get to really see how it does on the maiden flight in just a couple minutes here. And just like pretty much all the planes that I build, eventually this thing's going to have free PDF plans for you guys to download and build yourself. So let's see how this thing does on our maiden flight. Wow, well I don't know what happened at the end there. I mean it was flying along great and then all of a sudden it just got some sort of funky torque going on. Plane spun around and went down. I checked both batteries to see how they were. They both seemed to be at the same charge level so I don't think that one motor was getting more voltage than the other but it sure seemed like it had some weird torque that just twisted the plane. So the good news is I know it does fly. It had a nice takeoff, nice pull out, nice bank turn, was flying great. So let's do a little damage report after the crash. Now, as you saw in the video, it was flying around. All of a sudden, it had like a lot of yaw moment, and then it went down. Now, luckily, I had enough time to sort of pull back on the elevator and make it land sort of more or less straight down. So the bad news is that it destroyed both of the EDFs, broke all the blades off of both of them. I've never seen this happen before, so it must have happened because I was still on the power when it actually hit the ground. And pretty much the only other thing that broke off was this landing gear over here, which is totally fixable. And the nacelles got beat up a little bit too. This one's a little flimsy, but no problem. Definitely easy fixes. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how well the rest of the airframe actually held up. I mean, this thing was about 30 feet up in the air and just, you know, did a flat spin, landed flat on the ground, and it still survived. In fact, the nose gear is still okay. It still functions properly. So really, all I got to do is put two new ducted fans back in, fix the landing gear, and shore up this wing, because the wing took a little bit of a beating right there too. But I think what I'm going to do on the next flight is just give it full throttle, get this plane nice and high, and then pull the throttle back. Because I think what might have happened as, as I was coming around in the video, I had reduced it to about uh, one third power. And then I started to give it full power again. And I think what happens is with these motors, one of them spun up a little bit faster than the other, and that's what created that torque moment. But aside from that, even though it was only in the air for a couple of seconds, I could really tell that this plane was gonna fly nice. So stay tuned for the next video of the Mikey's RC DC-10. Please check out my website mikeysrc.com for a whole bunch of other free PDF plan planes. 
And don't forget to join my weekly live chat every Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time in the U.S.